Okay, so this is, in my opinion, one of the best ways, if not the best way, to actually record in OBS both your gameplay and your webcam separately so you can edit them in a video editor like DaVinci Resolve. I actually did a whole video covering how to edit it in DaVinci Resolve, so definitely feel free to check that out. Now, first of all, this is my no more scene and stuff. No more collection, no more profile. What I would suggest is duplicate your normal profile, okay? Because you already will have everything set up. So you want to duplicate your profile and then name it something like, I call mine webcam and gameplay, which I'm going to go over to right now. Now this, as you can see, on the right side is usually where I dragged all of my webcam and footage and whatnot. And then on the left side is where my gameplay would be. As you can see, I'm using an Elgato capture card. That would be there. And in case you're wondering how I got the canvas this size, all I did is I went to settings and then video, okay? And then for base canvas, what I did is 3840 by 1080. That would just make it so the width is doubled, but the height is still the same. This is, of course, for recording 1080p footage. If you want to do higher, you can do higher. You just have to double it. Not a big deal, but for most cases, 1080p is what you want. And you can switch it up if you want. You can put your webcam on the left and game footage on the right. It really honestly doesn't matter. I just personally find it better for my own personal editing to do webcam footage on the right gameplay on the left. But like I said, either one doesn't matter. And the brilliant part about duplicating your profile is everything is still exactly how you want it. You know, you don't even have to change any other settings. Actually, for when I don't want to record both my webcam and gameplay, I still have this profile to go back to. And that's all it changed. It just made the canvas size more as no more content. You would record the same, everything exactly the same. Like I said, I did make a video covering exactly how to edit it like this. I made the video first and I'm making this as a follow-up in case you guys are interested. So definitely feel free to check that out as well. I'll actually put a link to that in the description below. And yeah, that's really, it's as simple as that, guys. Hopefully this has helped you in some way, shape, or form. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Thank you.